Hold on. It says, don't be late, starseed. So obviously, this is another meeting point. It's right there. I can't believe we found this. That is insane. Mutual UFO network. Rapid response and special unit. We only have one shot at this. This might just be my last chance. Welcome back to this nice and uh, next exciting Randonautica video guys, um, exploring with Brad. I'm here by myself, I decided to do um, local stuff right here in Barrie. So we've got an intent today, let me just open my phone because it's just so radical. And we're actually almost at the point too because like I didn't want it to be all walking, I didn't want to make another video like that of all walking, but anyways. Okay, so we have an intent by June Nilsson. I hope I said that right. And this intent says from the sky. I just thought that was really, really cool with the whole um, alien space thing going on. And what's exciting is that it's leading it up, up this way. So let's let's go check it out. Yeah, so it says that it's uh, actually straight. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that's it guys. That's literally it. It's a freaking dragon. And it says from the sky, that's insane, man. Oh, that's so cool. So what does this thing say right here? So it says sea serpent. Artist Ron Beard donated in honor of Jean M. Oro Madani, Cindy Barry. That is just super, super cool. Well, I didn't really expect us to see something like that. That is just insane, guys. So I'm gonna do a little pan of that because that is super, super cool. Wait, hold up. Yo, there's something right there. There's actually something in the tree, dude. I didn't even notice that. Like, I was literally not even looking. Like, I literally just thought that this was the point. Hold on, let's see what this is here. That's so messed up. So that's a little wild. I didn't even see anybody, like, there's nobody around me. Like, I'm not seeing anybody in this park. like it's okay it's sealed so we have that guys I just really hope it's nothing like creepy or okay there's something in here hold on here yo it looks like some sort of clock tower guys so this is what we're seeing in the um, in the photo. It looks like some sort of clock tower. Hold on a sec. Yo, that's crazy. So it says, like I'll show you guys. If I click it together, it says EBE. 
Sorry, my hands are really, really, really shaky because it is cold outside. I'll piece it together from the side. But yeah, it says EBE. And then it looks like there's some sort of coordinates here. That's wild that we found this, guys. Like, let me just get the cams here. My hands are a little bit shaky because it's still really, really cold of winter. So I'll just show you what I saw. Just in case the cams had uh, trouble picking it up. But when you attach them, it says EBE. And then there's a clock tower. What's crazy is I think I know where the clock tower is. Oh wait, hold on. It says, don't be late, Starseed. So obviously this is another meeting point. So from earlier, uh, me and Angelo had found some pretty gnarly stuff in a house. And this looks like another meeting point for, I'm guessing Ellis. Like I can't, I can't really, I can't really think because Ellis is Starseed. Like that's what she's been, that's what she's been told. So, all right guys. So I guess we'll go check out this uh, clock tower. I know where this is. This is so funny. It's actually not, I think I've driven past this thing a couple times. It's actually right here in the city. But anyways, guys, we're going to go towards it and just see like where this leads. So. Yeah, so when I actually came here, I drove past it. That's the only reason why I know. That's the only reason why I know where this clock tower is. Because we're, I was coming up the road and I just passed it. So. Yeah, we'll go check it out. see it hopefully it's somewhere yeah we have a little bit of a christmas thing going on in the park here that's kind of cool i just really find it funny that uh i even saw that thing in the tree because i literally would have just walked i would have literally just checked that dragon out and then took off so up this way somewhere I drove right past it so it should be up here somewhere guys Oh yeah, there it is. It's down the road, guys. All right, so we're gonna go and check out this uh, clock tower out and see if there's anything there. Just got a little bit of anxiety because of some things that I've seen going on with this whole star seed thing. Because it's just disturbing. Like it seems like somebody's missing, and whether they're trying to find like I don't know what this EB is, whether the EB is exactly whether it was a person or it was something to do with like you know magic man so I don't really know but anyways there's the freaking uh, the clock tower is actually up ahead I'm just gonna try to fix this focus thing up okay all right guys so this is this is that photograph like I'm not gonna lie like this is it this is the clock tower here. That's pretty wild, eh? Hold on a sec. What the hell's that? Oh, it looks like something's up there. I noticed it from the glare on my, uh... Oh my god. Yo. It's another cassette tape. That's insane, dude. 
Like, I can't believe we just found this right now. All right, so I'm gonna have to scoop that up. That was wild. Like, I can't believe that that, that was here, honestly. So we'll have to play that back in the car. What I might actually do is, uh, I might actually bring that to Brayden and play it back and just see what it is. Cause I don't really want to play this by myself, but I definitely need a ride. So I might call Chris and just uh, see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna call Chris because this is just too wild, man. I need to get picked up. I actually walked here today, believe it or not. So literally I have no one to come get me. Okay, so here we go. Yo! Can you hear me? Oh. Man, you're not gonna believe this, bro. Here you, let's go. Like literally, I found some really, I found some weird stuff. I found some weird stuff at the freaking waterfront, dude. I literally found, I found basically two photographs that had a picture of this clock tower that's right in our hometown with coordinates on it, dude. I'm thinking, I really think, dude, I think we should check this out. I really do. It's, it literally. Where you at? I'm right at Waterfront, bro. Like, there's a part, you know, oh, you know where Christmas at the park is? That, that's, that's where I am, bro. That's, that's exactly where I am. Could you, could you come, can you come scoop me? I just got to show you this, right? I got to, I got to show you this right now, bro. Like, this is intense. There's coordinates on here, but I don't, I really don't think the coordinates are to this clock tower. I think that. This guy, whoever he is, going by EBE, wants to meet Ellis. Whether that be the magic man or not, I don't really know. But I know that, like, they want to they meet up. And I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking that we check it out, dog. Do so you want to come, yeah. come scoop me? Yeah, I'll be there in two minutes. I'll be in the parking lot. All right, thanks, bro. Yeah, man. Peace. All right, so he's gonna come pick me up, and I guess we're gonna go from there. It's pretty wild too. So today it's uh, December twenty fourth. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are all doing very well, and I hope you guys just have a happy, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Jesus's birthday. It's a big thing. It's actually a big thing for me and my family as well. So, yeah. Yeah, so check this out, guys. So we got Christmas in the park going on. Really, really cool stuff. I thought that I'd show you guys some of this stuff. I love, um, I love the holidays. I absolutely love it. I love spending time with my family and doing Christmas and Halloween and all the other seasonal stuff. I really, really enjoy. It's not really, really that big going on at the park. Like we have some lights. I don't know if you notice. I'm not gonna walk over there, but. In the background there, there's like a gazebo, and it's all lit up as well. Sorry, it's getting a little fuzzy there. So yeah, you can see all these lights up, but it just looks really, really cool. Yeah, so he told me that. It, yeah, that's really, really, really neat. Yeah, there's just a bunch of uh, st stuff. I think they call it Festival of Trees or something like that. Yeah, so check that out. So there's some movable, uh, movable lights. Stuff going on in the background. This is the thing of Barry, so this is super, super cool. I like that. Wow. Super awesome. All right, well, let's go find, uh, let's go find Chris and show him that stuff.
I'm really interested on what Braden has to say about this tape because we just keep finding really, really odd stuff. I really want to get to these coordinates though. It has a specific time on it. And if we're not there, we might miss this guy or miss whoever it is. So I really want to get to the bottom of this. And I'm hoping that I can find these people, whether I find Ellis, whether I find this, um, this Charlie who we found. Because we found some things to do with a person named Charlie that also had to do it. Sorry, my uh, thing is still set up for the original coordinate. So you might still hear it go off and say, turn right or turn left. It was funny when I got there, there was no audio, but I just turned my phone back on. Okay, here's Chris here. Freeman. Yo, man, thanks for picking me up, dog. Yeah. Welcome back guys. So anyways, um, we, it seemed like we were kind of being like looked at by suspicious types and stuff like that. So we wanted to get out of that parking lot. So we drove out of that parking lot. Um, we're at another one. I'm here with Chris and man, like you're just not going to believe some of the stuff that I've come across to do with like all this, bro. Yeah, Somebody, show me. bro, there's actual photos. Somebody has been spying on us. No me, way. you and Braden. Shut but there's, up. there's, I'm not joking, bro. I'm not joking. I'll show you, I'm going to show you off film because obviously like I found them with Angelo and you guys are going to see that later on in the video. Okay. But anyways, um, so friggin', uh, this is, uh, this is what I got though, dude. I was at the waterfront. Have a look at that. Tell no me what way. you think, dude. I'm not even joking. I found that at the dragon. And it led me to the clock, okay? Now, I think these coordinates are for somewhere else. But look at it. Look, see, you see at the bottom there? Bro, it says, don't be late, Starseed. And there's a time on it. So, yeah. I'm telling you, bro, we, we don't even have time to play this tape that I just found. I found a tape at the clock. I'm going to view that. I'm going to view that with Braden tomorrow. So... We're gonna hit the. We're gonna hit up these coordinates. We'll look. We'll look them up in Google Maps and see where it takes us. But I think that this was directly for Ellis. Don't you think? Like I really do, man. I think that this was actually for Ellis because of like you know Starcy. That's what she's been going by, and we've had a lot of stuff to do with this magic man. I I just don't know. I don't know the difference between we getting things that say E B E. Like see what happens when you push the push the pictures together, yo. Says EBE. We've had other notes yeah, that say that, right? Magic Man with poems and little trinkets left behind. I think there's some sort of connection between those two people and between this Ellis character. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's something going on there. But, anyways, we're freaking running a little short on time. We gotta head out to wherever this is. So we're gonna put this in Google Maps and see what we can find. See if we can actually catch this guy. Like, get in get in the middle of this whole thing. Because this is ob obviously somebody else was supposed to find that. Hey, dog? 100%. 100%. Somebody dude. actually was out, was supposed to find this. Yeah. And I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Ellis. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see whether this person is a safe individual I really, I don't think it's an alien. You know what I mean? We keep seeing things that do with alien phenomenon. I really think this is some sort of conspiracy theory. But this woman thinks that this is an alien. You know what I mean? Yeah. She really does. So anyways, we're going to see where this takes us. We don't have a lot of time left. What does the clock say, bro? It actually says it right there. Yeah, it's just f five past eight. Five past eight. Okay, yeah. so we have some time right now. It is currently, let me see what we got. We, it's a currently 7, it's 7.50. So we have 15 minutes to get to this. I really hope that this location is local. And we're going to go from there. All right, bro? Yeah, man. All right, let's hit this. All right, action. Action! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Random Nautica. Uh, I'm here with Exploring with Angelo. He's behind the camera. So he's also doing uh, his video. Um, and I have some intent here by Lelania Diniakos. I hope I said that right, Lelania. <laughs> 
And she had the one, so she had the intent of Magic Man, Mysterious Places, and Dark Secrets, and the X-Files. So we're going to just throw all that together and see what we can get, guys. So, all right, here we go. All right, so it says that the point's actually just up this way. Okay. so damn bright. <laughs> now you know, eh? See a bunch of dots. Now you know. He was like setting up his camera and he's just like blinding me the entire time. And yeah. I'm like, dude, you gotta put that down. <laughs> it hurts. It All hurts right, the so eyes. I it's around here, but... Oh. I'm not seeing anything. And this seems to be the big thing with Randonautica that we just keep setting points and then quite a few of them often end up being guards but I'm not seeing anything. It says that it's around here, and I definitely don't feel safe about me and Angelo going down that. Yeah, see, I ain't like going down that. My, my shoes are not going to handle that. Uh, so did you want to go back to the car and maybe set new intent? I mean, yeah, I guess so. All right, yeah, so we're going to go back and set new intent, but we'll keep the camera rolling in case we get anything, because, I mean... We have been found to find like really, really odd stuff. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking around. I don't really. Yeah, I know, and and that because that that can be often where it'll say it's here, but then maybe it's something over to the. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. not completely accurate. Yeah, I just I don't see mm -hmm. anything. Nothing at all. Um, go back this way. Oh, clearly, like a an animal has been through here. You can see their footprints. Ooh, it's chilly. Yeah, it is. This is a really eerie, eerie looking forest. It is. And it's also really, really slippery. <laughs> what the hell's that? What? Ooh. What do you see? I don't know. It looks like a book or something, dude. Where? See that? It looks like there's like some sort of pole coming out of the ground or something. I don't like see anything. There's... I just see trees. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. it was like directly behind where that tree was. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. It just looks like another comic book. Remember we found a comic book? Oh right yeah. Here? The Tomb of Dracula. There's like a number written on it. It says mm. 15. I guess that's maybe like the issue number? Yeah, that's all I'm thinking. It doesn't really... Like, we'll open it up and see if there's anything weird. If anybody wrote anything inside of it. It just has me wonder, though, if this has anything to do with Ellis. Like, if this person was interested with, in comics. With like, who? I don't know, because I always find I don't, I don't know. Who, do, who did you mention? So, um, we've been finding things to do with Starseed, Ellis, and this so-called magic man. We have no idea of their involvement together, but we just know that it doesn't sound pleasing. Because <laughs> okay. we've had some really creepy things. Whoa. <laughs> What? Yo, what the hell is that? What? That right there, I just noticed that. I don't see anything. Oh, on the pole. I know. I was like, like I was no, kind no, of I, like... I thought you were pointing down there. No <laughs> freaking way, dude. What is that? We found one of these earlier, covered in seeds. What is that, a piece of ice? No, it's a starfish. Oh. This is definitely starseed related. It just looks like it's made of ice. <laughs> I know. It looks wild. Some weird kind of stone, eh? Like, feel that, man. What's all these noises? I know. Hearing things everywhere. That's so eerie that we found this because, like, 
the first time we found one of these and a note covered in seeds. Yeah. We, we just felt fear for our life with all the stuff that endured with that. But this is definitely... Whoa, whoa what was that? What the hell? <laughs> Did, <laughs> somebody throw Did that just throat? fall from a tree? I think so. I'm glad it didn't hit Okay, maybe it's head. not a good idea to look up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just um, in case. This is definitely, though, I, I definitely starting to, to wonder if this has something to do with Ellis, though. Like, that is so odd. I honestly, you've lost me, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, um, yeah, so I guess we'll head back to the car and set new intent. This is definitely not my point. Like, this is way, way off. Yeah, your point was, like, down there. Yeah, like, it was the, it's the right side, obviously, but mm -hmm. it's not, it was way up there. So that's what I mean, like, it's just... Well, there's footprints down here, too. Should we, like, go look? What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, I'm noticing that, too. What the hell? Well, I kind of want to take They a definitely peek. look old. I just don't want to like end up on someone's property by small, accident. Too, oh yeah, they do look small. small. Yeah, maybe like a woman's or a kid's or something. That's interesting. Yeah, that's wild, dude. All right. Well, you found yourself a comic and a uh, a star starfish made of ice. I mean, it looks like Somebody it's made of ice. Somebody actually commented on our last video and said that it was a type of stone called a gate. A gate? I don't really know. I don't really know much about. Um, like, I don't collect rocks or anything myself, so I don't really know too much about that. Yeah. But yeah, they said that it was some sort of stone. Huh. Oh, but it didn't goes, have uh, any. Uh, are you bringing this with you? Oh, fudge! I didn't What's weird that. too is like. It must have been put there recently because it's not even wet. Yeah. Did you notice that? I mean, you can tell it is worn, yeah. but it's definitely, yeah, like it's, it's some Worn is a there. definite. That's yeah. it's kind of cool, though. I, like, I personally don't even, like, I don't even read old comics. What the heck was that? Them, but, like, whoever this person is, it's almost like they, <laughs> they just leave their yeah. crap. Like, why are they leaving their stuff? Around? Oh, there's a car that just drove by. Yeah, I just saw that too, man. It's always creepy hearing like branches and things break. Yeah. Trail, though. I know. <laughs> like it probably one day we definitely have to go like all the way down. Yeah, like you definitely um, wouldn't want to be out here. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Definitely a creepy treehouse. That's for sure. Alrighty, so we're heading back to the car, guys. Know if you saw anything else, we were definitely trying to see if there was something around that point. Yeah, the there was nothing, found, nothing it else. Uh, it's time to go warm up for a bit and then yeah, run some more intense. And we're gonna set new intent. Yeah. All right, guys. So I, I decided to use the um, intent of star seeds since we did find another starfish. I didn't find any seeds this time. It was really, really odd last time we found some really odd objects um, that we think has all to do connected with the same, same thing that's been happening to us. But anyway, um, my intent led us to this tunnel. It says that the object is actually, or the destination is actually down down there so i'm eared out man because this thing looks scary as shit like it just looks freaky it's part of a trail system thing though so looks like a lot of other people use it Ooh, flickery light i know this thing's huge eh? yeah but it's creepy because like right at the end there's like a light that's What the heck is that? Oh. The destination is on the right, but it's up here. Uh oh. I don't really see anything. You mean right where the creepy flickery light is? 
<laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> this is just easy. Let's see. So did my intent lead us to cannabis? Really? <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. Huh. Yo, what the hell's that? What? Oh. Really Looks like uh, maybe some more cannabis. <clears throat> Is that like someone's mail? Well, there's no address on it or anything. I know, like that's what's really, really odd. What the hell is this? What is it? Dude. What? That's seriously fucked up. What is it? That's me. That's you? Wait. What the fuck is this? From like. Dude! When? It looks like somebody's been spying on us. That's Chris. Yeah. That's Brayden. I don't know these people. Have I met any of them? I know that you met Chris. He's been in uh, some of our videos before. Oh, okay. What the fuck is this? And the first one was you? Let me see. This was the well. yeah, dude. That's me. It oh, looks yeah. like somebody took a photo of me. Huh. What the hell is this? It says I'm everywhere you are. Okay. That is messed up, dude. I just like I've got serious anxiety right now, like that there's somebody here. Because it looks like this was just placed here with the rock. Yeah. Pretty obvious somebody wanted you to find it. If you really want to see Rachel, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place. What? And Rachel Brad oh shit. Oh yeah. Who are you talking about? I'm telling you, bro, I think this is fucking Toby again. I don't know who Toby is. Okay. You so haven't really like explained much about what's been happening. I know. Well, I mean, you've been out of the country. Yeah, right? I've been a little busy oh dealing with my own. Uh... So, we started finding things to do with like a missing person, oh. like this Rachel. She took off. She she left town, and literally, I've been getting. I was getting trinkets, like just little things, like finding things to do with her disappearance and stuff. She knew that somebody was stalking her. I have literally not found a thing about to do with Rachel for weeks. And I haven't even I haven't even used the intent on purpose because yeah. of this. Like this really gets to me. But a lot of people they don't know they don't know if Rachel is a real person. They don't know if she's one of these crazy people that has been following us. We don't we don't really know whether they're all involved or not. But I haven't found a thing in weeks. Like it's been almost a month. Like literally. Huh. This is so messed up. But now, like, bro, like this is this is where Brayden lives. Like that is messed up. So this guy or person, whoever they are, they seem to know they know where we live and stuff, or they know where we hang out. Yeah. Like this is this is so messed up. I mean I've had stuff sent to my house before and it wasn't even like directly related to me. I, I did have some stuff sent to my house as well. Yeah. Like, this is Chris on the phone. I don't know where he is. It looks like he's in a park or somewhere else. This is definitely me. And that's my car. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious someone walked through here and they kept going. Yeah, dude. Should we, like, check? I think we should check. There's, like, footsteps there. I mean, that could be anybody's, but... Oh. That is so messed up. Oh, there's like a whole... Oh, that's just a road. It just literally goes to a street. There's someone's house there, obviously. Oh, more houses down there, too. Huh. I feel like whoever this was is gone now. Maybe, like yeah. Serious. Dude, let's just get the fuck out of here. Alright. Like, I'm not feeling safe anymore. I've avoided this intent on purpose in the mm -hmm. hope that I wouldn't find anything. 
And here I am again. I use a completely different intent, and then it leads me to this. What was that? I just saw a flash from down there. First, is there somebody like walking around there? You see where there's like some Christmas lights or something? It looked like somebody walked right in front of them at one point. I don't know. It might just be the actual motion of the lights. Yeah, like it could be. Possibly. This I is no messed. idea. Yeah, let's get out of here, dude. Okay. That is so messed up. Now, when I did have a package left at my house, it was in the same thing. Oh, really? There was nothing written on it. Yeah. But I knew that it had to do with the same people. Hmm. Like, there's Toby and Rachel. Now, what we gathered, what our subs have gathered, the like subs and myself have gathered, was that Rachel is Toby's sister. Now, she got the feeling somebody was stalking her the whole time. But what we got from this Toby guy was that he hates his parents because mm -hmm. we'd find snow globes and then there was little messages by him stating that like, you know, like I, like that basically he hates his parents' guts, Yeah. right? But like ever since the incident that I had like ages ago, we got nothing. Like literally, we, like most of the time we're in a nautical leads me to a mall or like, you know, something completely, completely different. Historic site, a plaque or whatever. Yeah. So having this, I'm like, what in the fuck? Because I gave the cops a ton of stuff. Like everything I found, I gave to the police. Yeah. Because I'm like, this guy chased, up, chased after me with a knife. I don't know who he was. I don't even know if Toby and Rachel are actual names. I don't know if, like, this is just a made-up plot, like, you know, to get us. But it's seriously messed up, though. Okay. What I am noticing is that commonly using this app, it's completely, it's not accurate. You know what I mean? Like, it'll have a pinpoint, and yeah. then whatever we find is like, it's yeah, around sometimes the vicinity. It's, well, I mean, it's like a, it's a, a little bit of like a, you know, area. It doesn't always mean that it's right at the point. Sometimes it's at a, uh, mm -hmm. somewhere nearby. Somebody mentioned something to do with geocaching. I don't, I don't really know what that is or if that's... Well, geocaching kind of is like, it's this thing that people do where it's like, I'll leave something somewhere and then I'll put the point in like the system and then somebody will go and go to that point, find whatever it is that I left and then replace it with whatever you want to leave in like the same box. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of similar, but not not really. I mean, just the idea of going somewhere and finding some sort of something in relation to your intent is completely different from geocaching. But yeah. Yeah. Fudge, man. Like, this is just messed up. Like, have you found anything else to do with, like, C3 besides oh, yeah. what we found earlier? Oh, yeah. With Lots you? of stuff, yeah. Yeah. Especially on the last trip that I did, we found out a whole ton of information. Mm -hmm. So it's been I don't really, really know. Yeah, like I don't. Uh, really there's know. like apparently there's like two Rachels now. There's one that keeps coming up for you, and then I have one that keeps coming up for me, and they don't seem to be directly related. So I'm not sure if it's the same person or not. Probably not. I I know for sure mine are different. So okay. the the handwritten notes that mm -hmm. are said to be done by Rachel, all those were females writing. I actually took I actually took those notes. And gave them to somebody that, you know, analyzes, like, writing, printing, mm -hmm. all that. And they said with its fluent style that it was a female. Before I gave it to the cops, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the printing, all the sloppy stuff, like, even this. This was really sloppy printing. I'm thinking that it's the other person, whoever okay. it is. Whether it is Toby or this person using a fake name going by Toby, right? Yeah. But, yeah, like, they looked at their database. They didn't find these names matching. Which is really, really odd. So, but the fact that we were set up twice, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's interesting. I'm just glad, I don't, I don't feel like I know this is really eerie. We're in a tunnel with a flickering light. We mm -hmm. found all this shit. I don't feel like somebody's here though. Like I when know. I was, like when I've been in other locations, you really feel like somebody's watching you or somebody's right there. I yeah. don't, like my anxiety is just up because we, like whoever this is, has been following us. Yeah. Especially, like, they like, falling where I live. Like, that is disturbing. Mm -hmm. My okay. biggest mistake, and it was funny, an error that somebody pointed out was that in one of our videos, like, way earlier researching these people, 
I, my license plate was in a shot. I don't know if that could come up with my personal information, where I live or whatever. No, you wouldn't, I don't know much you wouldn't, about that. People don't realize that you can't. You can actually find out, I don't even want to say it, but there's really not, you can't really find out enough information about somebody from their license plate. So perhaps so, this person's just been stalking us. Who knows, stuff. man? Who yeah. knows? But anyways, we're going to get back to the car and we're going to set a new uh, intent. Yeah. Okay, welcome back guys. So we're at a, a second location. So we actually used, um, well not we, um, Angelo used his intent which had brought us to this, it's almost like an abandoned village, like there's a bunch of abandoned houses here. So um, he's checking out that house, so I thought I would just check out this house for content. So anyway, we'll go check her out. It's actually really, really cool here. Like these are big mansions. So I'm actually in for a treat. Let's see what's it's a little fireplace, yeah, it doesn't look too much. It almost looks kind of empty too, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't really know or expect what to find in here, other than it's a really, really, really cool house. Nice tables and marble and everything like that. Look at this, guys. It's actually really, really nice in here. I guess that's where the entertainment uh, system was all set up. Yeah, and that's just a room there. Okay, so there's a washroom here. Um, let me see. So we'll just go check out. I actually thought that I saw something over here. It was a second... Uh, Staircase going down? That's kind of odd. Okay, so I'll have... I'll check the middle one, actually. So I'll check the middle one, and then maybe I'll check out upstairs. Yeah, it's hard getting uh, good content. Oh, there's like a Nerf gun there. There's some hats. So it looks like very few things were left. Down here in the basement. It all seems pretty bare. Don't really see much of anything. I don't know what's in here. Oh, it's just like a... Oh, looks like it was a shop and they had like chemicals and storage there. Oh, that's kind of neat. Alright, so this is just empty. Yeah, so it's pretty well like a shell, guys. Not really finding anything very interesting. But it's, uh, yeah. It's a really nice house though, so got to see that. Hopefully Angelo found something in his, uh, in his house. We're not too sure. There's just a TV chilling there. So I'm guessing these people are coming back for all this shit later on, by the looks of things. <clears throat> Whoa, that's kind of odd. It's like a barber. Barber chair and stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Looks like there's another staircase there. Sure. You know, paint that garbage here. The cool houses that you see uh, sometimes that are abandoned, you're like wondering why, but yeah, apparently these people just uh, vacated and that was it. They took their shit and they left. And I guess what they're gonna do is demo all these places and that's it. So we're gonna go upstairs. And just see, uh, yeah, see what we find, guys. Okay, so there's nothing there. Alrighty. <sighs> oh, wow. So a nice shower there and everything like that. 
Empty house and storage. So this is another washroom. That's kind of odd. It's like a kitchen. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. I don't even know what we're finding here. Let's see what's going on. Yo, what's that? It's a bag there. What the hell? That is insane. I can't believe we found this. Wisconsin State Journal on the moon and it's one giant leap for mankind. Americans first to walk in dead lunar surface. That is insane. Mutual UFO network, rapid response and special unit. Like, this is crazy, guys. Like, I can't believe we found this. What does this say here? Fair today, high near a Madison, Monday morning, July 21st, 1969. The world watches and marvels. This is so crazy. I can't believe we found this. Like, this is so crazy, guys. Adventurous man followed a long road to the moon. Next step to man, man's mind. Wow, like the pictures and everything are just absolutely fascinating. Moon landing, quite a thrill. Police expect to charge Kennedy in fatal accident. This is an actual newspaper from this time, guys. Like this is crazy. But there's all these like, so this is just kind of propaganda, but over here we've got like stuff to do with the um, NASA and everything. People being on the moon. I just can't believe we found this. Holy smokes. Generations watch historic monument. Now look at Earth, says leaders. Holy smokes. What is weird is that I did not even have an intense set and we ended up finding this. Like this is unbelievable. And it's funny because our stuff was considering space, you know, space-like stuff before. Like, especially with all the star seed and stuff, like, I don't know what the hell this is. Like, this is so unbelievable, guys. But there's like a little duffel bag here, too. I'm just hoping that this is nothing too, too crazy, because I'm all by myself in this house, so I really hope that there's nothing too nuts. What the hell? There's a micro cassette tape here. What the hell else is here? It's like this person was camping out in this abandoned house. Like there's a compass here. That looks like a fire starter. Oh my God, guys. Like what is this? I'm just gonna check the whole bag first before we see this. Now I have a micro cassette recorder from last video. Yeah, like look, this is legit. Like look, there's a brush here. There's toothpaste, toothbrush. Like this is just freaking unreal. There's a flashlight. And what is this? Okay, so it says, um... oh, it looks like a Christian thing. He has taken our sins from as far as the east is from the west. Oh my God, okay. I'm really nervous to play this micro cassette tape because of all the other stuff that we found before. But, um, like, I just don't know what to think about all this. Like, what if this has something to do with Starseed? I just don't know. So anyways, we found this in the last video. I was literally just gonna use it as an um, EVP recorder. Like, that's why I have it in my pack. But the tapes were missing. Like, there was actually tapes missing from this thing. So we're just gonna see. I just hope that I don't break it opening it. Okay, so here we go. 
<clears throat> I really hope that it still plays. Like, I don't know. Okay, so. Hopefully something plays out of it. Holy shit. Holly, we only have one shot at this. This might just be my last chance. The doctors say my case has gotten worse ever since we removed that damn chip in the back of my neck. everything guys like what the hell this was Ellis like this was actually her well I better go see what Angelo is doing because I'm just getting a little bit nervous with everything that's going on so watch this is actually freaking oh my god look I'm just having goosebumps right now like this is actually Ellis like she was here she was actually here and this wasn't even my intent. Like, that's the crazy thing about this, guys. Like, oh my God. All right, so, what the? What, what, what? Angel, is that you? I'm upstairs. What do you mean? Who's here? Is it the cops? Look what's going on. I don't know. Someone came in the other house. Okay, okay, okay. Like, do you think we're in danger? I don't know. There was something there, <clears throat> and this person came in, and I was hiding in this room. Yeah. And then by the time I came out, after they left, whatever was there was gone. Oh my god. You mean they took the artifact? I don't know what the hell it was. I wouldn't really call it an artifact. I mean, it's old, but I definitely found something because I told you, we, I've been here before. Yeah. And I can tell that that was completely out of place. What do you think we should do? We should, we should hide or something? Like, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of, my anxiety's up, bro. Maybe, maybe if we check out the windows? Yeah, I don't know. Bro, Ellis was here. Ellis was here and she was being stalked by somebody. So there is a stalker in the area. Yeah, like my anxiety, I'm, I'm, freaking, out, I'm freaking out right now. Like I'm having a full blown anxiety attack. <sighs> I had to do like a, quite the dash. I know. Let's go from one place to another. Did you find anything else in here? I found this duffel bag full of things. And look, everything's here, bro. Everything's here. There's toothbrush, toothpaste, clothing. Ellis was here, dog. She was here. Somebody's in the house. I think someone just came.
There's nowhere to fucking hide in here. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming upstairs. upstairs. It's just bad. Is that you? What the fuck what was that? I don't know. They came upstairs. Dude, what if he was looking for the tape, man? I have the tape in my pocket, man. I don't see anyone outside. They might still be in that house. He might be looking for the tape. I have the tape in my pocket. I'm freaking out, man. We gotta get the fuck out of here.
taking it, bro. Alright, so we're gonna take off from here. Oh shit, sorry about that guys. My anxiety's a little fired up. Yeah, so I'm taking this with me as evidence because we've got more stuff. Any more sounds, Angela? There was a truck at the end of the street. It was just parked there, but it looks like it's gone. It's now. gone now? Okay. Okay, so this is what I found in the house, just to show you guys it's clear. And I'll show you, Angelo, because he's behind the camera. Okay. So this was the tape I found. Oh, that's um, what that is. We only have one shot of this. This might just be my last chance. The doctors say my cancer has gotten worse. Ever since we removed that damn chip in the back of my neck. The what now? Chip. I, it's yeah. hard to make out. That's literally all we got huh. so I'm just a little freaked out because some of the things that we found relative to all of this mm -hmm. were very very disturbing like me and Chris were led to a beach and we found what looked to be cremation ashes it really? stunk there were clothes that were tied up but there's no body and there was literally we found things that were relative and this guy, he seems to go by Magic Man. He seems to hide himself behind this name. I just, I don't know what to think between all of this because like, we just keep finding more evidence of missing people, but we're not getting any far, like we're not getting far. You know what I mean? It's, it's almost like they're two steps ahead of us. But this time being in that house, like, that was scary. Like somebody was, somebody was, somebody was after us, or they were after I don't know. something. It looked like they were looking for something. I don't know. And you said they was. took something out of the house, yeah. right? Like you, you, you picked something up, you yeah. examined, and they took know. it. I don't know what the deal was with that. Yep. I know. So, I'm just glad that I was able to obtain this. Like, if if I do find further evidence that makes me think that you know something bad happened to these people then I can give that to the police. Like, that's something that I can give to them. But, um, yeah, like, please let us know what you guys think. Um, be sure to comment in the comments below. You can even personal message me on on YouTube if you want. But, yeah, um, I'm curious to see uh, your guys' opinions. And, um, yeah, we can go from there. All right. That's a wrap. Okay, so welcome back guys. So um, we found this note at the clock tower. tower. Well, I did. Um, it was really wild. So I found this, first I found this dragon thing that was in the park with the note with clock tower pictures that had coordinates on it. Now I literally thought that these coordinates were just to find that clock tower and find that first tape. 
But anyways, the tape was a little bit disturbing because it seems like this dude going by EBE, which we think is the magic man. I'm here with Chris, and we're checking this out. Um, we really thought that he was here to meet Ellis, whoever this guy is. So we're trying to intercept this. We're taking on this coordinate. I really hope it isn't dangerous, but this is where it brought us. <laughs> it brought us to this freaking tunnel, man. Like, it's it's actually really, really, really eerie. There's this huge tunnel. So anyways, are you ready to do this, boy? Go, All right, bro, let's, let's do this. I just find it really, really eerie that... Oh, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do you hear that humming? I do. Dude, that's coming from the tunnel. Which one? It's coming from this one right here, yeah. That humming, dude. Yo, that's trip, dude. Look at the size of this thing, too. Like, this is insane. Okay. I'm just a little eared out because we're about... We're about a minute off from the note. The note said exactly this time that they were supposed to meet. So, I just, I don't know that. What's going on, bro? Okay, bro. Just don't leave me behind, man. I don't want to walk this thing myself. I'm just gonna check it out. This thing's massive. Like, I can't even see the end of this dog. Up. I just heard a sound. I just heard a sound, but I'm not really sure what's going on. Chris? I'm right here. You coming, dog? Okay. Yeah, like I heard some sounds. I don't I don't really see anybody here or anything like that. I mean it seems pretty safe to me. I just I don't know, dude. Was that just you? Oh. This thing is massive, bro. Like, I, I literally can't see the end of it, eh? This is crazy, dog. Yeah, dude. Okay, you're with me. Yeah, I was like, man, don't don't wait outside the tunnel for me. I kind of need you, dude. Like, this is a little, like, this is a little messed up. Like, we found this tunnel about, like, Ellis. And this person's supposed to meet, but like, what is that? What is that? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Yo, did you just drop something off? I don't know, it's just freaking left. I know, dude. But that's messed up, dog. <sighs> yeah, this place is just... I don't know. He dropped something off at the end of the tunnel, though. I kind of want to check that out. What are you doing, yo? Brad. What, what, what? Hello? Who is that? Chris, what are you doing? Chris, Chris, what are you doing? Chris, what are you doing? Chris, Chris. Chris. Oh my god. Chris, Chris. Chris, Chris. Chris, Chris, stop! What are you doing? Where are you going, Chris? Oh my god. Holy shit. What the hell is this? There's something here. Oh my god. Freaking Chris. I don't know what that was. There was some dude with a freaking, some sort of weapon. 
flinging at us, and there was something left behind in the in the freaking tunnel. I gotta call. I gotta call Chris. I can't freaking just stay here, man. I'm by myself right now. This is freaking crazy. This is nuts. I can't believe he took off on me. Like I'm by myself, man. I don't know who these people are. Like this is crazy. This is so nuts. I gotta call him. What was that? That was maxed. Did he get away? Who the hell was that? Like, what the hell, bro? You just took off on me. Well, like, who was that? I don't know, but he was trying to die. Dude, that, you know that guy? He left something behind. Remember the first guy that came in here, dude? Like, he left something behind you. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna put my pack down, okay? I don't know what it is. This is Merry Christmas. I know. Like, you wanna open a dot? I'm press? freaking out right now. I don't know what it is. Let's see. What does it say? Merry Christmas. I know, bro. And what's messed up is like it's the 24th today, like the 24th of December. Like this is crazy. I just hope there isn't any like blood or guts or anything in this no. thing. Man. Like I'm having anxiety. This cheap stuff, yo. Okay. Jelly beans. Oh. You see that? Fudge. Who's next? Yo, to be that's messed up, bro. That's messed up. It's a freaking tape. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Like it's another tape. And how far did you run out there, bro? Like, did the guy take off into the woods? Like, what the hell was that? I didn't see it was too dark. Okay, hold up, hold up. I have the tape recorder with me, dude. I have it with me right now, but like, I'm just eared out. I might have you hold the cams, just while I play it, because this is kind of awkward. Yeah, if you want, I set that down next to my pack, bro. Just keep looking out, because like, this is messed up. I can't believe this shit just happened, dude. Okay. Yeah, is it hard to open? I know. I'm just eared to play it because remember, Ellis was supposed to meet this dude. Like, whoever's going by EBE, so I really don't know what this is. That's the thing. Is it hard to come out? Yeah. I don't see anyone, bro. Like, we're still. We're still good. Like, I don't, I don't see anybody else, but that was. That freaked the hell out of me. Like I thought, I thought, I literally thought that you were gonna get hurt, dude. You shouldn't have took off on me like that, man. Like, what the hell was that? Like, did he have some sort of weapon? He had something. He threw, when he whipped it, it almost hit me in the head, bro. Like I was standing right there, some sort of fire stick of some sort. Piece of bacon. Yeah, I know. I got it. All right, bro. Um, you want to hold the cams? We'll just check out what this is. Yeah, I don't know guys, like we found this, another tape. But this tape was actually left, like we actually got legit evidence of somebody coming in here and leaving this damn thing. Okay, so, let's see here. I'm just kind of eared out playing this because I don't really know what we're gonna get.
fudge is this dog? That is so... Bro, do you think we had to, I think we should go to the police, bro. Fudge is this dog? That is so... Bro, do you think we had to, I think we should go to the police, bro. Like, this is pretty messed up. Let's make our way to the car, dude. This is not okay. I know, dog. Like, we, we gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This is messed up. Bro, let's take off. Bro. Let's go. Let's get out of here. There's no way about it, like that was messed up. Could you hear the tape? Like was it pretty clear on your end? We'll play it again in the car anyways, but that was messed up, dog. Oh, watch. Let's go, dude, it's not okay. All right, let's go, bro. All right, man, so we're back at the car. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to think about all this. All I can think is that first guy Remember that f there was a first guy come into the tunnel. He dropped that present off. All I can think, guy, is that that man was giving it to him so that nobody would find it. So that the cop, so that nobody would be able to give that tape to the police. Mm -hmm. And we obtained it. So really, like, I'm feeling like, like, a little bit threatened for our lives right now with this whole thing like this is not funny this is really really serious right now we are going to turn this into the police <sighs> so yeah well it's just really 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 disturbing because it sounded like this guy had like what like it sounds like he had an incinerator or something it like, sounded that. like that this guy was definitely in flames it sounded like burning yeah, it something like blew up at the end, man. But bro, know, remember man. the guy? Remember the guy at the beach? Remember the stuff we found at the beach? The clothes, yeah. Could this have been Char? Could this have been the guy? Could this have been Charlie? You know what I mean? We finally get a name out of out of this tape. Like I, I we did get a name out of the last tape when I was with Angelo. It mentioned a Charlie, and it clearly sounded like this Charlie had some sort of relationship with this Ellis. Like, that's what we were getting at. Ellis had cancer. She was going to meet this dude. And it sounds like this is what happened to him, man. Yeah. It sounded like this is what happened to him. But anyways, guys, we're a little choked up, freaked out. We have to get to this. We have to get this tape to the police. Like, that's the big thing right now is that they need to have this right away. And it seemed to me like somebody was trying to this this dude 
was trying to get it so that he wouldn't get caught for this. And that's all we can hope. We can just hope that this guy gets locked up and put behind bars for what he's done. So, anyways, um, should, should have, this is this is really wild content, man. I don't think I've ever caught anything like this. This is just this is insane. So, um, but anyways, be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. We got a lot more coming to you. All right, guys. So we're we're back in the car now. We found another uh, cassette tape. This is just wild. I really don't know what this one's gonna be, but maybe you maybe be we kind of freaked out here, dude. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm wondering if we're just gonna see where Ellis, like, you know, went next, or if it's somebody else. I don't really know. Like, we're finding these really weird tapes related to Star Seeds. So, um, this is this is one right here. I'm sorry, what? That's messed up. Did you catch you the beginning? Me so. I'd never known your name until today. I know. I love you, Alice. What the hell was that? I know. Like, that's a little messed up. Like, this is definitely related to Ellis, but it sounds... Doesn't this sound like a stalker to you? Like, it doesn't um, sound yeah. like... <laughs> it doesn't sound like somebody that Ellis was, like... You know what I mean? Friends with or anything like that. Well, like, that sounds, like, messed up. And his voice was deep. Yeah. You hear how deep his voice was? Like that's that's intense. It was deep. It was gravelly. That was weird. Yeah. That was that gave me chills. Yeah. It does, and it's not even about me. Like, do you think that that's the actual guy's voice? Like, I like it sounds really, really deep. It does. If it is, yeah. Like that's just wild, bro. Did you catch the beginning? I just found it really. It was a little too gravelly for me. A little gravelly. Yeah, like the volume was maxed. Yeah, I don't know if we should play it again or not. We'll play it one more time. We'll play it one more time to see if we can actually hear it a little bit better. Yeah, it almost seems like she was coming to meet him or something. This guy. That is so freaky, dude. But like, is yeah, like, is he in jail? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is this a convict? Like, that's is he what in it jail seems. Or was he in jail? Yeah, like that's or a, that's will all. Will he like, be in jail? Yeah, you know, like that's so messed up, eh, bro? Like, we found all this stuff today. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Either. Like that's like, terrifying. The fact that I mean, it is relative to Starseed though, because her first name was Ellis, right? Whether this guy like knew her or I don't know, man. I just like <laughs> Okay, if someone's funny. like recording tapes to be like today's the day, like the day we meet. I can't even remember all the stuff he said. Yeah. But like, nine, I remember 99% of it being absolutely terrifying though. Yeah, I know. It was really eerie to me. It, it almost seemed to me like stalker kind of vibes, like obsessive, like like almost obsessive compulsive disorder. Like the guy who is, a, is, is obsessed or something with her. Like, like that's what it seems. obsession with Alice? But it's almost like he seems like he's expecting her. 
though do you too do you know what i mean like, like he's been waiting for you came to see like this is somebody she knows by the sounds of things and he's been waiting for her. Y yeah yeah that's, that's the part that's, that's throwing me off is like i've been waiting for you but like yeah and did unless, he know he was waiting for Alice, or was he just waiting for something? Unless it's just like he's so upset, yeah, obsessive, that he just expects her to be here. But and she's is he not even obsessed with Alice? Because like what? Like if you were schizophrenic, would you think that it's almost like he he thinks that she's coming? Like have you ever seen the movie The Joker? Like I don't know if you guys seen the like The Joker with Hakeem Felix Phoenix. He has a girlfriend in the movie. Well, she didn't exist. She never existed. But he thought that they were together or whatever because he thought so much they were meant to be together that it materialized in his mind, but it, it didn't actually happen. Yeah, I've never seen the like. Joker. Do you think it's? Do you, do you think that this is something like that? Like that's what I'm. That's what I'm getting out of because this is creepy. I think this is like a whole. Another can of worms, that's for sure. See, my <laughs> my brain is triggering right now going, it's yeah. not an obsession with Alice. Look, but I don't you, know. What do you then what do you think? Like what's your opinion? I don't know. I just it seems like Like if he's not obsessed with her, then what is he like it's almost like he's like he's definitely been waiting for something. I just don't know if it was Alice or someone. Yeah, true. And that um, kind of freaks me out because like it opens up a bunch of questions for me. That's all I'm saying. It really does. You know, because yeah. like what what does this guy want? What yeah. is this guy? What's his end goal? Mm -hmm. And like, you know. how's this ride gonna go? You know, I, it, it, there's so much missing too. It seems like there's so many pieces of this puzzle that's missing. But it's funny that we find found this on a beach, and then I started finding the cassette tapes. And they all seem to go along with it. And these are old. Like, I looked this up online, this device or whatever. These go back to, what, the 90s or, like, the late 80s? Like, the micro cassettes. Mm -hmm. they, they're not even they're not even existent anymore. We don't even use these anymore. Everything is digital now. Yeah, they're, they're so basically it's, redundant at this point, so. Exactly. It's like. I know. That's crazy. Dude. Well, well anyways, um let's get uh feedback from you subs let us know what you think what you what you think is going on because we really don't know we just get bits and pieces at least i didn't find anything to do with like anything crazy like you know what i mean somebody being butchered or like hurt or harmed or maimed or whatever it's no. literally just don't jinx it brad <laughs> yeah i know really don't jinx it don't jinx it but anyways guys we're gonna get going because it's cold as a mother mother liquor outside it's cold yeah. as a mother lover <laughs> a mother lover and brayden has got to get to his buddy's house so we're gonna get going guys all right peace